Except it's going down. Actual white supremacists <laughs> may actually start to face consequences for their actions for once. Yes, for for once, uh, we we're starting to see some uh, payoff for people getting fed up with uh, people's bullshit. We've got, uh, for example, we've got uh, good old uh, July two men charged with July Fourth attempted lynching. So that's nice. Yeah. Well, finally. It's about fucking time. Granted, they were probably just in the process of doing that. I don't think there was much much delay in that. In that. Probably regular, like, fucking uh, court. Uh, uh, you know. My first problem, having seen the original video... Two weeks, yeah. Why are only two people being arrested and charged? There were, like, five people holding that dude down. Yeah, let's look at this. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six people there. Yeah, six people around him. I'm guessing they're probably lo- just uh, focusing on the ones that actually uh, made the racially charged statements. But, but the- I mean, yeah, the women right there, right there are yeah, charged as well. Yeah. They're all complicit. Thankfully, um, something is coming of this. So, so that's nice. We've got some, some, some little bit of justice for somebody out there. Now, who, uh, doesn't seem to be getting any justice, uh, is, you know, all these, uh, quote unquote, uh, anarchists or, anti-fascist, which apparently is the same as terrorists these days. I mean, they are a terrorist organization, um, after all, but, don't you know? I mean, this, they arrested the CEO of Antifa yeah. the other day. The CEO, huh? <laughs> it's a corporation, huh? As the wow. official CEO of Antifa myself, I take exception to this slander. Oh, is that right? Did you uh, did you get approved in the last board meeting of all of the uh, the terrorist organizations? Yes. Um, yes, actually, I did. Um, the no, lead the Legion of Doom. Nancy Pelosi um, personally picked me. Oh, is that right? The 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 Pelosi uh, was the one behind it. It wasn't the Clintons or oh, whatever uh, Democrat they want to blame it all on lead this week. Bioterrorist. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's uh, not surprising anyone though. Um, the the right wing extremists, uh, the real threats, not Antifa. Oh boy. Wow, I love how these are the same kind of fucks that uh, 10, 15 years ago were all like, oh, I can't, there are Muslim terrorists coming in, Muslim terrorists. And then now suddenly, you know, they're not seeing, you know, <laughs> the the wolf wearing. Boy, I mean, it's obvious, though, why? Because they are them. They're... Uh... They are the men in black. Yes. yes. Them. No, they uh really They uh really uh knew how to spend their mom's second job money well on all that that tack gear. Ooh, look at all that sweet sweet tack gear. They feel like real operators in you that. See, I'm it sure. once again comes down to the good old fascist tactic of simultaneously portraying your victim as a bunch of, like, limp-wristed wussies and as the greatest terroristic threat faced by this nation since 9-11. Which is just so backwards, because how can they be both simultaneously limp-wristed and strong-arming? I I just... (laughs) 
Oh, good grief. Man, oh man. Oh. Uh, um. Anyway, small technical issue there. As you can yeah. see, there was a law yeah. enforcement leak called uh, Blue Leaks that uh, was recently posted on the internet by some uh, helpful hackers. Or, or no, I'm sorry, uh, bioterrorists. You know, the same ones that uh, invented COVID to make Trump look bad. <laughs> bioterrorists. Uh, and so right. they were able to find out that yep. uh, essentially law enforcement across America have been tacitly cooperating with right-wing extremists. Um, and I say tacitly because they know better in most cases outside the Pacific Northwest and Deep South um, to... Uh, legally distance themselves but morally you know just sort of turn a blind eye where where inappropriate well it's like it's like uh, in the fucking like during the civil rights era or even before that i mean where cops were also members of the fucking clan like except you know and there's no official membership to a lot of these fucking i'm assuming a lot of these militia or right-wing extremist groups but they still have that, like moral. They're they're morally uh, members of uh, of these groups. If they're also no, no, not members, by day, yeah. White sheets by night. Exactly. Oh man, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This is just German. Uh, is it, yeah, it argued that the impulse to paint both sides of the political spectrum with the same brush, despite the fact that only the far right is actively killing people, is among the most dangerous features of American law enforcement. Uh, in his review of the documents produced in the response to the recent protests, German said purported threats from Antifa were routinely overblown, often framed vandalism as terrorism, and were typically absent of concrete evidence of serious criminal yes. activity. So, um... Basically, Banksy is a terrorist now. Um, the bourgeoisie of the yeah. whole world, which looks complacently upon the wholesale massacre after the battle, is convulsed by horror at the desecration of brick and mortar. Well, yeah, because I own property. They could come for my property. And then where goes my equity that I inherited we're, from my parents? My equity. Won't somebody think of the equity? Marks just now, Tom? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, now. Stop. Get out of here with your Marx talk. We, we've we moved on yeah. from him, okay? He was a white I, guy in the 1860s. Get out of here with that. It way too uh, rehearsed and memorized, actually, and, and not enough. Uh, there wasn't enough emotion <laughs> or, uh, you know, uh, energy behind it. It was just like he was reading a script and also the language as well. Because well, if, if I if I said this was by Karl Marx, then that sounds like I'm sniffing my own farts. Like, eh, eh, yeah, that's eh, really um, according, according I guess to if Marx. I don't say that, then yeah. it sounds like I'm trying to claim credit for it or something, which I'm not. I am not. Oh, hi, Marx. <sighs> oh, hi, Marx. Yeah. Note, note to self, create Oh Hi Marks um, soundboard button. That would, uh... Anyway, so we've got, uh... We've got that fun, that fun times going on. So, yeah, speaking of far-right groups uh, taking over America, how about that development in uh, what we now know as Bortac? Which sounds like like an you know, online that, uh, that, store for tactical gear, which basically it, it might as well be. It, it may as well be if you Rock look the at their actual website. The 
Oh, this is a different video. This is actually isn't in Portland. This is uh, elsewhere. This is in uh, L.A. So let's bring that back. From the federal Just somebody riding their bike down the street with a with a sign, not doing a goddamn thing, and they just fucking slam them. Oh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. This guy riding on a bike randomly deserves to get fucking. The guy, see, the the guy isn't even wearing like isn't even wearing like gear or anything. It, it looked like he might have not even been been wearing a mask, like, and he just comes out of fucking nowhere and just like stone colds him, like it's a fucking wrestling match. Hey, hold on one second. My dog is going nuts. I need to see what's wrong. Well, good thing that these Bortac agents aren't there because they'd take care of your dog with a single blast to the forehead. Imagine if that person riding their bike had their pet dog with them. Do you guys I'd be, I'd be imagining a dead dog. Um, you know, it's uh, something I imagine often, Just, you know, for fun. After all, uh, dogs tend to hunt foxes, so what, what, can you blame me? A little revenge porn fantasy. I you saw... Know, like uh, revenge porn where you post, like, naked pics of your ex for uh, revenge, but the sort of revenge porn that's like Count of Monte Cristo or some shit. I mean, this just fucking... Wait. Just watching this, though... Like, this kind of shit just pisses me off so much. Like, how they fucking immediately, like, it's, they, they all go in, and there's, like, two or three of them, and then they just, those fucking asshole, those fucking pussies set up a fucking perimeter to stop anybody from interfering on this fucking, this abuse that's going on. Yeah, it's fucking unreal. Um, there's that better, Todd. Did I pick the right one that time? There we go. I couldn't see the, uh, couldn't see what we were looking at. Oh, also, sorry, I thought the one that was labeled OBS preview oh, oh. was the right one. Also, if you Apparently notice, it's not anymore. So, one of the cop would like, I think with the second cop that comes up, like, fucking rams and fucks himself up trying to, like, kill or whatever. And of course, see, here's the thing. Yes. <laughs> he fucking like, hits his head on the fucking pole. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm the joke of the bitch! We're just going to say it's fake. Because truth doesn't exist anymore. Anything they don't like isn't real. And they'll just say that's their well, opinion. Everything's fake news. Opinion. Either way, there there should be some Benny Hill music playing when that fucking second guy comes up. Jesus Christ. I don't oh, want to yeah, no, play it for the copy, copy strike. Copy but <laughs> oh, God damn. Yeah, God damn. These, uh, these, these, uh, these real, uh, American zeros just bum rushing people protesting is 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 really reaching a fucking boiling point. It's fucking horrifying. What's that? This is. I mean, this isn't even the worst of it either. Like, this isn't. This isn't a video of the abductions going on. Yeah. Let's see. Um, this person. So we've we. As the last time we saw, then, yeah. Like, kicked off or whatever? Yeah, this person, they just beat the shit out of them. This person didn't get abducted. This was just in L.A. No, the shit that is happening yeah, in, in Portland. Uh, yeah. So, the Portland abductions. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's happening. Because Trump sent uh, Bortak specifically to go and arrest. And this is the person we saw in the video 
the last time we talked about this. Um, but yeah, no. Because it was both the U.S. Marshals' uh, soggy bottom boys and the uh, Border Patrol tactical unit known as BORTAC that uh, basically came in and told people you can either walk with us and we won't handcuff you or we'll cuff you and throw you around. And that's, that's apparently what they've been telling people is that you can come with us nicely or, or we'll force you. And that's why they didn't end up cuffing and slamming that kid that they picked up in the one video is because they're they're basically trying to not cause yeah, panic. I would still, I would, yeah. But they're still abducting people and not making them fucking... Yeah, it's still secret police. Yeah, I would still uh, fucking... I would throw a hissy fit, too. I would resist resist the entire fucking time. I don't give a shit. Well, that's what makes it so fucking disarming to people, I think, is that they're not immediately coming up going, fucking get on the ground! But instead they're going, alright, so you can go the easy way or the hard way. And when you see somebody that fucking calm and that much tactical gear, that would scare the shit out of me. Because that person clearly knows how to fucking kill me. Oh, Damn. So, yeah, as as we may have mentioned, every major uh, human settlement falls within the jurisdiction of Bortac in America. Whether you live on the coast, whether you live on the borders, or whether you live within 100 miles imagine, of airports. Just imagine if people started arming themselves and carrying weapons and this shit started happening. Mm-hmm. It'll, uh... It's gonna get worse before it gets better, is all I gotta say. Oh, man. The question is, how long are they gonna love, obtain these people? The fucking, the, just the dichotomy, too, of, the cons of conservatives supporting this shit, but also uh, flying those don't-tread-on-me flags and, uh... And showing up during the the lockdown protests, and then all of a sudden, fucking when Antifa gets gets abducted and beaten in the streets, yeah, fuck yeah, go law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because you know they're they're uh, just you know getting spoon fed their their worldview on OAN or Fox News or whatever talking head they yeah, like so drinking the Kool-Aid like from. Like, like They're bad people like want to see people that aren't like them tortured. It's really that simple. And they don't want to, uh, you know, it's the same people that don't want to wear masks and shit because they literally only care about their own comfort. It's... It it, it's it's like and, and yes. these people it's like that fucking meme I remember seeing I sh I, sh I shared this on Facebook like fucking I'm just probably like two years ago I think like of uh, of uh, the uh, it was uh, it was a car and it had a picture or had a sticker of like don't tread on me and in something about like guns or whatever like come for my guns and I'll fuck your dad in the ass or something and uh, and then also. Like and then also, <laughs> I'll eat your liberal ass. And uh, and then also it had the fucking th the thin blue line flag. And then all of a sudden somebody had drawn a picture of like the "Don't Tread on Me" snake, but it's like eating in its own tail. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Speaking of the thin blue line sticker, um, I uh, I saw this. The uh oh where oh, oh let's see yeah, no, I, I I posted let's that in the can. chat it's in the it's the, the meme yeah yeah I was I was trying to find it yeah it's become a uh it's become a thing now where uh here we go this is uh I encourage anyone when they're playing Minecraft 
to go up and uh, color in your own uh, pride yes. flags for for these uh, officers to show their support for the community. In Minecraft, you know, yes. because that's what I said. Yes, and when they're out playing Minecraft, you know, you go and you go you, you go and color in the rest of their flag for them because their printer clearly ran out of ink. You know, printing off their flags well, in like Minecraft. They like to keep their paper so. nice and white. Well, yeah, but you know, we gotta we gotta help them out because clearly they ran out of uh, all the colors but blue. So, thankfully, we got we got heroes out here capable of doing that. Now, the real the real question though that we have. Um, is, uh, you know, what, what makes a real versus a fake redneck here? We've got, we got all these Confederate loving, children hating, Bud Light drinking, Oakley wearing, LARPers. suburbanites. Virtue signaling, LARPers. Yes, LARPers. Shitheads. Who want to pretend to be rednecks because they're just right wing reactionaries who have learned through dog shit like Fox News and the blue collar comedy tour that the way to show everyone how conservative and right wing and, and, and shit that you are is to act like a fucking dumbass caricature of a southerner or just someone from the interior part of the North American continent in general. One of them coastal liberals. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite disgusting, but, uh, it is, it is kind of nice to see, you know, there, there are people who, who, uh, would rather just, you know, think of, you know, Blair Mountain as, uh, you know, rail does. So well, that's You don't good. think of some... Pet, petty, of, bougie, uh, small businessman who who has thirteen year olds mow lawns for him for three dollars an hour, living in a shitty McMansion or a cul-de-sac, putting a Confederate flag on the back of his pickup truck. He's afraid the the Negroes are gonna come try and fucking steal his pink lawn flamingos. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, if they knew how how bitching those things were, they'd be they'd be coming right for them. That estate's not going to protect it's itself. But like the Bastille, My estate. I mean, obviously, so. It is the Bastille. It is Versailles. It is my castle, my mansion, my everything, my legacy. My property is everything. People in this country literally care more about their property than their Spe life. Oh, please, you can kill me, but don't yes. take my house. 